Hi, my name is Nate, and I found this great uh, product called Claymation Studio from Honest Technology. Basically, allows me to uh, create a stop motion video using uh, Gumby and this chroma key paper. Also, I'll be using my webcam and the built in microphone on my laptop. Here, let me show you how easy it is. First, I'm going to select my webcam from the device list here in the capture window. I want to create a Gumby movie with this Gumby action figure I have. I'm going to start with this Gumby picture that I have on my computer. Now I'm going to select the rotoscope option which allows me to view a still photo on top of the new image in creation process and use it as a reference to help me produce images that are difficult to create. The transparency slider here adjusts the visibility and as you can see the two images overlap in the capture window. Once I have Gumby positioned the way I want, I simply click the capture button to take a picture that drops down to the storyboard. Once I have my first picture, I can use the onion skin feature to view the previous frame and the next frame on the same screen in transparent overlay mode to help me perfect the image for the next frame. Essentially this provides me with a guide for my animation. All right. After I've done a few frames, I like to preview my work to make sure that it all looks smooth. I just select the preview button and it will show me a preview of my work. I can also change the frame rate if I want to speed up or slow down my movie. If I think there is a problem, I can always go back and insert frames. However, I am happy with what I've done so far, so I'm going to add some audio by clicking on the audio button. I just select a frame that I want to add audio to and press the record button and my built-in microphone will pick up my audio. Hey, I'm Gumby! As you can see, the preview window plays back my movie while I record my audio. This helps me keep my audio in sync with where I want it. Alright, now if I want to take my movie to the next level, I can use the chroma key paper, which is packaged with the software, and works similar to the green screen used for visual effects in the film industry. With the chroma key, I can place my object in front of a solid color screen and import images from another source to use as a background image. I can easily change the background image to create the best background for my project. Now I'll select the color of my background. I want to mask or hide, so all you will see is my background image. Goodbye, I'm going to go fly now. Whee!